So this is telling us that um, maybe not surprisingly, when we put animals on a keto diet, the microbiome changes really dramatically within a few days. And now to ask whether the microbiome is important for the anti-seizure effects of the keto diet, what we did is two things. We can take animals and rear them at completely germ-free in our germ-free facility. So this is very unnatural to the world because nothing is really germ-free, but we can have you know, in the lab a facility where the mice are genetically identical to the controls, but they just don't have a microbiome. And so what you see in the white bar is the germ-free mice on the keto diet. In the blue bar, we see that the keto diet increases seizure resistance. And in the white bar, we see that if the animals are germ-free, if there's no microbiome, the keto diet is no longer effective in promoting seizure resistance. And that last gray bar is where we added back the microbiome to the germ-free animals. And so if we add back a full microbiome, then we see that seizure protection re is restored. So this is really compelling evidence saying that we need a microbiome in these animals in order for the keto diet to work against protecting seizures. And um, another way that we can get at this is instead of rearing animals as germ-free, we can take the um, conventional ones and treat them with antibiotics to deplete the microbiome. So this is, they were reared in the same way, but they just re received an acute antibiotic treatment to transiently deplete the microbiome. And again, now in the gray bar where it says ABX at the bottom, when the mice were pre-treated with antibiotics to deplete the microbiome, the keto diet was no longer effective for uh, protecting against seizures. So um, these studies were telling us that the microbiome is necessary for the anti-seizure effects of the keto diet.